Okay, this is the Dreo portable heater. I got this directly from Amazon. It's great for heating rooms. And I'm here going to show you how it works. Here is the manual. This is going to show you how it works. And let me just go through this. Okay, this gives you, just shows you about what the heater does. It gives you all the functions. Um, then it gives you, there's directions for use, cleaning and maintenance. It has tip over protection, which it also has overheat protection. So if it gets too hot, it will turn off automatically. It's got a 24 hour turn off and it's also got memory function. Okay, here it gives you it gives you uh, instructions that got the control panel tells you how to turn it on and how to turn it off. It's also got oscillation, so that means it'll it, it'll swing around both ways. You can set that up. So here it tells you it's got on the functions it's got high low and economy so you can you can set your heater at a high power mode a low power mode then it's also got economy and then it's got fan mode it says the heater will adjust its working mode based on your ambient temperature so basically you can just set the temperature at whatever you want and then depending on your room the heater will automatically adjust it to that uh, it says, tells you, it says, um, uh, press to adjust the set temperature 41 to 95 degrees. It says, when the ambient temperature reaches the set temperature, the heater will turn off automatically in 30 seconds. When the ambient temperature is lower than this, then the heater will start running again. So if it gets too cold in the room, the heater will automatically sense that. Also, when you're not using this, just remember to unplug it after use. It does have an on and off switch, so let me show you how it works. Okay, as I didn't plug it in yet, I'm going to plug it in now, and you'll see what happens. Now, when you plug it in, you see, I get it plugged in, okay, then that will come on. So that it doesn't mean it's on, but it, mean, it just shows that it's it's actually plugged in. Now we're going to turn on the power mode and we'll turn it on. Okay, right now it will set. We've got it set to 70 degrees, and it's right now it's on high mode. But if you want, you can set the temperature whatever you want. So if you want, it already is hot already. So, but you can, you can, and this is this, this is the set mode, and you can reduce the temperature. I'm going to put it at 70 degrees, and as I can feel it right now, it's coming out really, really hot. So, as you can see, it's in the, it's in high mode, but if you want to, you want to lower the mode, then you press this M button here. That will that will make the heat. It won't it won't come out high. It will be lower. If you want to set it to economy, press the M again. And as you can see, I have the temperature set that I want this particular area to be at 70 degrees. So when the temperature reaches 70 degrees under the economy setting, then the heater will just turn off when it reaches the desired temperature. It also has oscillation. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So as you can see, it 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 just turns. So it will it will just heat the room. So as you can see, it's it's moving around. And so that's kind of what it does. If you want to turn it off, you can do that. So it turns off like that. It also has a, a timer where you can, right here, it says it's got an on and off timer. So you can set it for 10 to 12, uh, you can set it for up to 12 hours. But as you can see, it is, it's still on and um, it's, it's, it's working and I can feel the heat coming out of it. So that's just kind of how it works. Um, and it's got some more stuff in here. It's got tip over protection. Uh, when the heater is tipped over, it will shut off automatically with the area code P4 on the display. It also has 24 hour turn off, overheat protection, and memory function. Uh, this one tells you how to clean it. And as you can see right now, 
as I've had it on, it's starting to get a little cooler. The temper, it's going down to seven. Okay, see, it turned right off. It, it, all I needed to do, it's on economy. It reached its temperature, and the heater just turned off. So that's how it works. That's it's right now. It's, it's on the economy side. So that's kind of how the heater works now. If you if you dis, if you want to turn off the heater, then what you need to do is you need to press this. Uh, you press it off like this, and now the heater is off. It's just showing that it's plugged in. But if you want to do it for safety features, now I've got mine. I have a strip at home, so that's what I use. But when you're not in use, just unplug it and take it out and there you go it's off so this is the drio heater so it looks like it's a pretty good heater so it's got all the protections and it will heat your home so you have the option of using high low and economy so that's the oreo dreidel heater